I'm Minister Patricia Venus Henry. Join me every Sunday right here on the Tobago Inspirational Network at 9.30 p.m. for Stepping on the High Waters. Stay tuned because God is turning things around for us in this season. Good evening, viewers. I thank God for you once more. Thank you for allowing us into your homes. Yes, we are not going to take that lightly. We do not take that lightly. We thank God for using us in this season. To me, this is a special time in the Lord and with the Lord. So I want to greet you in the precious name of Jesus. And we want to thank God for what he is doing in our lives individually and corporately. And I just want to declare to you that whatever the Lord is saying to you and I, this is the season to walk in it. This is the season to see the manifestation of the Lord comes into play. Yes, I'm Minister Patricia Venus Henry founder of laborers in the vineyard and stepping on the high waters and also a covenanter of divine destiny restoration and on set with me this evening again we will bless to have him another time is minister evangelist prophet pastor marcus lucas who is here with us to deliver the heart of god to us so sit back, relax, and glean from the Holy Spirit this evening. Hallelujah, minister, pastor, Amen. evangelist, yes. however, Amen. the Lord is leading this evening. Welcome again Amen. to stepping on the high waters. I and I know this name. evening we will be stepping on uh, some high waters this evening Amen. in the Woman name of, of Jesus. Amen. And viewers, we are going to pray now. We declare, Father, Jesus. that your name is power. Yes, Lord. Your name is life. Your name is light. We thank you for yes, your Lord. people as your people Jesus. gathered in their homes to listen to the word of God. Jesus. What came from your heart. We declare healing and deliverance will yes, take Lord. place in yes, the name Lord. of Jesus. Jesus. We declare restoration will take place Yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes, we Lord. declare maturity will take place. We declare a manifestation as never before. Supernatural healing, supernatural strength in the name of Jesus. Yes. And we just want to glorify your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen and amen. amen. Evangelist, the last time you were here, we shed some light on the inner man. Amen. That healing of that spirit man where people's spirit man is crying out is is low is is weak is is like when you're doing the temperature is down mm. at the bottom and it is high time that it is high but something else i want to add to that is that i find that these days when i am before the lord or in a meeting or anything like that even at church I would hear the Spirit of the Lord saying, tell my people, stop taking the Holy Spirit for granted. Stop being too familiar. You're so familiar that you are not, we are not, um, um, we are not acknowledge who, acknowledging who the Holy Spirit really is. Mm -hmm. we, we have, we're too casual, that's the word. Mm -hmm. We are too casual with the Holy Spirit. And many times, according to where I am, Sometimes the Holy Spirit is flowing, the minister is flowing, and some of us, we talk too loud, we move around, we make noise, and you, you, you sense this disturbance of the, the Spirit, man, you sense the disturbance of the Holy Spirit, and like he's saying, I want my people to come back in a place with me so they can recognize when I'm speaking. They can recognize when I'm in the room because I came to set the captives free. I came to, to, to deal with the brokenhearted. Mm -hmm. I came to do restoration, great restoration in the people, in the people. So my people must come hungry. They must come 
in a place of stillness before me that they can hear me and that I can deliver and I can heal. Stop being cashed up with the Holy Spirit. Do you think that is the reason why some of us, our spirit man, is so low? Well, woman of God, one of the greatest things that we last time we was on the topic, the Bible said in the book of Acts, mm -hmm. the people was in one place. Yeah. <coughs> in the upper room. Excuse me, yeah. In the upper room. Mm -hmm. <coughs> where they begin to tarry. Tarry is one of the things is to wait. Mm -hmm. It to wait patiently. Yeah. But um the minds of people right now is must go to church. Mm -hmm. Just go in, hear a few words, yeah. and then run out. Yeah. But these men here, they wanted to move in the realm of the supernatural. Mm. Where the Holy Spirit, which was left, was told by Jesus, will be the third person of the Godhead that will lead us into all truth and righteousness. And he's a person, he's not just a myth. As some of the, the cults say that he's just a, a thing. Mm -hmm. He's not a thing. He's mm -hmm. a person of the Godhead. Mm -hmm. He has the authority like them. But he's, he's completing the function of the third person of, 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 the, of the Trinity in this time. And we don't understand that the Spirit of the Lord wants to move. Yes. But you see, sometimes the Holy Ghost examine our heart and see wickedness, mm. callousness, unforgiveness, and bitterness, mm. and envy. But we don't want to heal ourselves. Mm. The Bible says that they heal themselves. Yes. They, 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 they yes. stay in one place. Yes. They do not yes. move. Yes. And they, 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 be, they, they begin to surrender mm. totally to the Holy Spirit. And when they, when they begin to move, this is why the others was able to leave. Yeah. That they, they could not, they, they were studying the wife, they were studying the children, mm -hmm. they were studying the animals. Mm -hmm. They were involved with the care of this world mm -hmm. and the care of having such an impact by the moving of the Holy Spirit in that time. So when the Holy Spirit wants to move, there must be stillness. There must be brokenness and there must be an understanding that, listener, we are not going to leave here until you move in such an order that our life will be transformed. Our spirit man will begin to flip over and begin to hear the voice mm -hmm. of the Holy Spirit. And our spirit, our, the Holy Ghost will begin to heal because also he have in his hands the healing balm of Gilead to begin to heal us, the wounds, whatever thing take place in our life and, we, and cause us to be transformed and changed. And the love, mm. the love, the agape love will begin to flow. How we, how we perceive things in the past, we begin to yeah. see things differently. I People that know, hurt yeah. us, we will leave it or uh, give by the altar and I go know, and make yeah. it right. There will be such a transformation uh, in a, by when the Holy Ghost is in charge. You know, today, I was having a discussion with a young lady and we, we heard some report and sometimes we could run. But the Bible says, quick to hear, but slow to speak. Mm. And what the information we get was lies. Yeah, Jesus. What's lies was not the right information. Yes. And when I, I had an encounter with somebody last night, and the truth came out, the truth of the whole um, situation episode came out. Came out. And this one, I had a comment, say, listen, I, was, I want you to forgive me. Because the information that I get, I did not check it out. Mm. I run with it. Mm. I did not consult the leading of the Holy Spirit. Don't let the Holy Spirit want me saying something. I did not listen to him. It was a little casual. It was just casual. Mm. You listen. But now that I understand that now, the Holy Ghost bring me to a point now, you hear all sides, but you pray on the matter. Mm. And the Holy Ghost will give us wisdom mm. and understanding and revelation in the matter. Mm -hmm. 
And this is why when the shifting of your heart, this is why your heart is shifting. This is why your, your heart is beginning to heal the wounds. And this is why we're taking place because we so much into gossip. So much into gossip. And when we so much into gossip, woman of God, there where the whole situation lies. Mm. There where things begin to take place. And Ephesians chapter 4 said, and I, I, I give it, he said, let no corruption mm -hmm. proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good mm -hmm. to use to edify that may minister grace unto the hearer. Grieve not the Holy Spirit of God. Grieve not the Holy Spirit. And we are grieving the Holy Ghost. That's why we, we are not seeing the true manifestation. We are not seeing healing of the man in the church. Because we, we the, the, because there is so much a, a garbage in our life. Hallelujah. There is so much a seed in our life. And the devil now have jurisdiction over our life. Because we do not, some of us do not want to let go the past. Mm. How could you be healed in though you don't let go the past? Hallelujah. How could you be transformed Jesus. by the Holy Spirit by not let go in what had happened to you years where somebody must have done you some wrong? Hallelujah. A brother or sister hallelujah. say something to you. Hallelujah. We need to place in, in the God where the Bible said that, listen, hallelujah, that we need the, we grieve not the Holy Spirit. Whereby we are sealed unto the day of redemption. Let not bitterness, let not rot, let not anger and comments and all evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. But be tender hearted, oh God, be tender hearted to, to, to yeah. another yeah. and, and it's not to be kind to one another and be tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as God forgive Christ. Say, Come on, Hallelujah. woman. Come on, woman of God. Hallelujah. And one of the tragedies in the body of Christ today is unforgiveness yes. and bitterness mm. against each other mm. in the house of the Lord. But you see, when I got to the matter and I understand the matter now, I said, sister, I said, sister, forgive me because the, in the information I received was wrong. Mm. So that I could be healed. I could be Heal from the, the inner man inside. So now the person now who caused the whole melee now begin to react differently mm -hmm. because he told a lie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He told a lie. Jesus. Ah, uh, he told a lie. Woman of God, listen. Um Hallelujah. this week we was in a prayer we had a prayer meeting. And while we were praying last week, Saturday. I received some information that my sister-in-law, my sister-in-law had such a, I don't know what she have against me, but I called her on the phone, I didn't get her, I called her on the phone and say, if I have wronged you, yes. if I have done you wrong, yes. please forgive me, but I also forgive you yes. for the way you react towards me. Mm -hmm. And when the church now of Jesus Christ begin to come to a place where there is forgiveness, where, where there is a remedy of, of where that, that God could, through the Holy Ghost, could begin to heal us. The Holy Ghost wants to heal us. The Holy Ghost wants to transform our life. But we do not, we want to hold on to our, our, our point. We want to hold on to our line and, and allow the devil mm. to reign mm. on our parade. And we remain so casual with everything. So, woman and of so God, and Lord. yes, and we. That is, that is oh God, that is how, that is how, that is how Jesus. today we were not even seeing the power of God among us because there's so much, we all, all I don't understand, we come into church and we only watching this sister yeah. and that brother yeah. and we are not understanding the Holy Ghost, put your eyes on the Holy Spirit, put your in. eyes, not put your, we, in. we're not locking, locking in. in, we're not saying Holy Ghost, what you have me to do today, mm -hmm. God Holy Ghost, what you want me to do, yeah. Holy Ghost, I'll uh, explain pose inside of me yeah. what inside of yeah. me hallelujah so that hallelujah that that mm. that hallelujah that i could be pure yeah. before you holy ghost direct me what mm. to do hallelujah. holy ghost if i've Shut done up. wrong go and get it right hallelujah. holy ghost hallelujah and god reveal yourself to me hallelujah, hallelujah. bring me to a point 
Hallelujah. Bring me to a point. Hallelujah. This is what God wants from us today. Amen. This is what God wants. Look into the camera and speak to the spirit. I'm saying to you, I'm saying to you people Jesus. today. If you want to be healed in the inner man. Jesus. According to the scripture. Yes. You need to forgive. Mm. You need to get rid of the bitterness. Mm. It have some wife, it have some wife they are bitter towards the husband mm. and the husband bitter against the wife, the children against the mother mm. and so forth. I'm saying to you, Amen. forgive each other, hallelujah. Amen. Repent of your sin yes. because the devil will reign and he will expose you in the time to come. This is why things are not happening in your household. This is why the devil, hallelujah, is coming through the back door. He's coming through the window. He's coming through the front door. He's messing up the whole household because of unforgiveness in the house. And the Holy Ghost is ministering to us to, to, to stop what we're doing. Mm -hmm. We stop what we what we are saying. And stop how get involved, hallelujah. And begin to transform and change your life. And stop, hallelujah. And you are not stopping. Hallelujah. But I stop by to tell you, I invoke the power of God in your life, hallelujah. That you will come to a place that you will be uneasy. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost Jesus that you begin to Jesus. realize the Bible declare when Nathan came to David and David told hallelujah told David thou is the man and when David recognized hallelujah, hallelujah. that he had sinned against the this great God the Bible said he rent his clothes he rent his clothes and put ashes on his head and he go before God and he begin to moan and be broken God said I want a broken and contrite heart hallelujah that he will not despise me. when we begin to be broken that's before right, God we right. begin to see transformation. transformation we will begin to see the inner man Mm. The, 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 the spirit man begin to be ill mm. and hallelujah and the things of the past yeah. will be no longer our 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 portion right. but we will become into the new future mm. in God hallelujah and the love the agape love of God mm. we begin to love each yeah. other hallelujah yeah. in such a way yeah. hallelujah it, it is not it will begin change in yes. our household yes. in our neighborhood yes. things will begin to take place in the church hallelujah. there will be such a love in the church hallelujah. where there is no darkness and no Satan can come in hallelujah well, because Satan do not love love, he can handle love. Hallelujah! When the love of Jesus is in the Jesus. house, hallelujah! The man will be healed from the mm. leaders and from the leaders to hallelujah. the bottom man will be healed and delivered. There will be transformation. There will be deliverance in the home. Yes, yes. Glory to Jesus. Too casual. Jesus. Too casual. Woman of and God. Many times you be many someone sent a. Uh, a note to me on um, a little note that a, a, a young person sent to them. They've been so hurt in, in the church and, and this young person wants to know what to do. You know, and we, we've been back and forth, you know, sharing stuff and thing. And I am saying if, if the older ones are too casual with the Holy Spirit, you don't expect the young people to, fall in, to line. fall in line if we are casual with the Holy Spirit. I think we get, as you said, we get familiar with. Yes, our familiar. Ease. Yes. <clears throat> um, because we, we, we tell ourselves we're in Christianity, yes, mm. and we know that you don't know it all. No. Just, no. just the mention no. in, in, in the Holy Spirit. Spirit. That's right. There is, there is <coughs> position. Excuse me. Remember something, the Bible declares that when Peter was a man that was compromising with the Jews and the Gentiles, the Bible says that God, through his Holy Spirit, sent Paul to correct Peter, though that he was an apostle, though that he was used by God. It came to a point, they correct him. And in the church of Jesus Christ, people don't want to be corrected. And so that the Holy Ghost will be able to move and heal the person. It is a, it's a damn shame that, that, yeah. it, that, 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 that people 
who are not seeing the example yes, we are setting yes, example yes. in the church for the younger people mm -hmm. as i go to pastor franklin church hallelujah when i go to there <coughs> i have a young man there mm -hmm. who's a young evangelist i will bring him i say you have to be around me everything that i know about god i'm going to release it on you i'm going to be greedy mm -hmm. and try to and try to uh, market myself no mm -hmm. it is not about marking myself mm -hmm. it is about having this love bring and come and bring him up that he we begin should. to flow the in the things of god in, he yeah. begin to he begin to receive yes. from the hands of God so that when the time comes we begin to operate in the love and the compassion of God he begin to operate on that level mm -hmm. to begin to bring people as a young man he will be God going to begin to use them to do great and mighty things and the young people will see a young man anointed by God with the love of God with the Amen. compassion of Amen. God to see people young people come out from the because uh -huh. we see young people taking their life out see young people shooting drugs mm -hmm. to be with, uh, smoking marijuana mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and getting involved in things that is illegal yeah. Yeah. sexual activities yeah. but we come to stop today that we can make a difference today yes yes we are willing to make a difference definitely yes i know things are happening but we have the anointing of the holy ghost to bring healing to the man that is crooked that is corrupted that his life will be set apart for the master use, woman of God. Amen. Woman of God, I've seen in the time that I've been in Tobago, I see God do some glorious things. Yes, too I remember in a certain place, woman of God, I saw a woman in the back side of the back side of the church, in the back of the church. And I was ministering the word of God. And all I tell you, I say, the Lord sent me for you the Lord sent me for you and when she came out I began to pray because the woman was looking like she was looking like an old lady but when she get in contact with the Holy Spirit, Spirit. Uh, with the anointing, Ooh. because I reach out, hallelujah, and I begin to pray. The uh, there was a, there was a, there was a guidance of of in, from her spirit. Uh, yes. The Holy Ghost yes. touched this woman yes. in yes. such an uh, impact, mm. hallelujah, yes. that her very dress, her very dress yes. code begin to change. change. That yes. her very future, the very way she think, hallelujah. Yes. She was yes. studying in Bible studies. Mm. She get a plus, hallelujah. Things begin to happen. Mm. Hallelujah. Things begin to transform. Mm -hmm. I ministered to a, a young lady last month, hallelujah, a nurse and a husband, hallelujah. They came to visit me yesterday, hallelujah. And she said that when I pray for her son, hallelujah, he was not doing well, huh? but the Holy Ghost, somebody, the Holy Ghost, somebody, yes. can touch this young yes. man. Yes. And the I mean, young man who, who couldn't uh, uh, be, uh, be begin to, to yes, he was Lord. not even going to function as a young man. Yes, he began Lord. to able to spell umbrella, hallelujah. Something begin to take place. It's the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost collide with His Spirit. Hey, they both shut up. Hallelujah. You see, when the, when we put the Lordship of the Holy Ghost in front, yes. and we just leading, we yes. are guiding. When He talks to us, mm -hmm. and we move, we don't move in ourselves. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. We don't take no accolade for ourselves, but we recognize it's the Lordship of the Holy Ghost that is doing the work. We are just the vessel. Yes, evangelist. Huh. We have a few minutes. People of God, this is stepping on the high waters. I am here with Evangelist Marcus Lucas. And we are here for the Holy Spirit to collide with your spirit. We need our spirit man to collide, to boost. So, of it, so many of us need a boosting. And uh, Evangelist, I want you to look in the camera Jesus. for these few minutes. Some people so not motivated that it's like a giving up. Take Father, a few minutes. Woman of God, mm -hmm. let us agree. In the As I stretch Jesus. my hands upon the set, In the I pray Jesus. that the Holy Spirit that was left on the earth, there's no distance with In the Lordship prayer. of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Wherever you are watching this, Hallelujah. whoever is watching this, Hallelujah. I declare that heaven through the Holy Ghost yes. will reach into your being right now. Yes. 
and Greek. cause a eruption. Yes, God. Cause a eruption. Yes, God. Cause the river banks to burst. Yes. Uh, to begin to flow uh, yes. of the healing virtue of your spirit man. Hallelujah. And bring you back to the place. Uh, those on the brink. Uh, I cause, hallelujah, I cause the Holy Ghost to touch them. Uh, touch them right now in the name yes. of Jesus. Uh, heal you from the wounds. And from everything that taking place. Uh, everything that uh, uh, that causing you not to 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 to, to excel hallelujah mm -hmm. we cause acceleration we cause speed to take place right yes. now yes. by the power of the holy spirit yes. right now god yes. holy yes. ghost touch yes. them right now yes. in the name of jesus christ hallelujah. holy ghost take over hallelujah reach them right now hallelujah let under the set let this anointing god in this set move father because we believe we believe as we put the lordship holy spirit in order things yes. will begin to happen yes. miracles are going to happen yes. they're going to call and say how did something take place yes. god there will be such a such an eruption of the holy ghost yes. in such magnitude in such power yes. and such energy yes. flow yes. to flow to holy ghost flow yes. to that as they did the day and the day of pentecost yes. let the power come down yes. let the yes. wind of the holy Holy Ghost, flow right now in the name of Jesus Christ and bring healing. By because by the stripes of Jesus, by the stripes of Jesus, they are healed. Let the spirit man begin to be healing right now. Begin to heal right now. Heal right now. Heal, heal right. I am seeing a young lady right now. Hallelujah. You are saying there is nothing, uh, there's nothing to take place. But I'm saying to you that the Lord will visit you right now and the situation will yes. change. I see this young man, hallelujah, you are frustrated. I'm saying to you, Jesus will visit you tonight yes. by the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Things will take place. I see a mother, I see a, 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 a husband. Jesus. Something gonna take place. Are you wondering what to take place? You're Cry out, but yes. today I stop by to tell you that it will happen in Jesus' name, in the mighty name of in Jesus Christ. It will happen today. Yes, the Lord, Lord of hosts will visit your household yes. right now in the, in the name, name of, of Jesus. Jesus. The God of creation will reach to the power of the Holy Ghost, yes, Lord, and heal in the name of Jesus. I pray God, even for the church members, yes, the believers of Jesus Christ, yes, you are wounded. You are wounded, but I'm saying today, Hallelujah. I point the oil of the Holy Ghost yes, to heal Jesus. your wounds today God. and transform you and make you a brand new person Jesus. in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And I give you praise Amen. and thanks. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. So, people of God, we love you. We extend the hand of God towards you. And as the pastor pronounced there a while ago, we want you to receive, hold it in your heart, stop being casual with the Holy Spirit, and you watch God work in your life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This is Stepping on the High Waters. Have a great week. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank I'm Minister Patricia Venus Henry. Join me every Sunday right here on the Tobago Inspirational Network at 9.30 p.m. for Stepping on the High Waters. Stay tuned because God is turning things around for us in this season.